I'm Danny Epperson at the Lavish Commodore Theater in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for joining me for WHO Cinema 15. Uh, what do you get when you mix a madcap heiress, a goofy paleontologist, and a runaway leopard? The answer, 1938's Bringing Up Baby. Directed by Howard Hawks, Bringing Up Baby stars Cary Grant as Dr. David Huxley, a mild-mannered dinosaur expert whose life is turned upside down by the mischief and chaos that surrounds Susan Vance, played by Katherine Hepburn. Susan tricks David into helping her transport a young leopard from New York City to a country home in Connecticut. What happens next is what makes this movie one of the greatest comedies ever made. The story was inspired by a magazine article that director Hawks found laugh out loud funny. He had the female lead written specifically for Hepburn, despite her inexperience in comedy. On set, she struggled with the pacing and delivery, so Hawks hired a vaudeville veteran to be Hepburn's comedy coach. The tutoring paid off, and maybe a little too well, Hepburn and Grant broke into fits of laughter so often they caused production to go over schedule and over budget. <laughs> Maybe it was Cary Grant's portrayal of the persnickety paleontologist that was so amusing. This is probably the silliest thing that ever happened to me. Hawks instructed the actor to play Huxley as a mix of slapstick silent film star Harold Lloyd and Hepburn's off-screen beau, director John Ford. Bringing Up Baby is considered the quintessential screwball comedy and is on the American Film Institute's list of the 100 greatest American films of all time. Regular viewers of Cinema 15 should recognize the wire-haired terrier in this movie. This is his third appearance. It's Skippy, also known as Asta, Nick and Nora Charles' dog in the Thin Man series. I'll be back with more behind-the-scenes stories after the movie, but for now, hit the lights and get ready to roar with laughter in Bringing Up Baby. That was an uproariously good time. Cary Grant and Katherine Hepburn starred in four films together. All were romantic comedies, but Bringing Up Baby was the only one that co-starred a 55-pound carnivore. And filming with a live leopard was spotty at best. No CG here. Katherine Hepburn wasn't afraid of the animal, but Cary Grant was terrified. Hepburn was so fearless that during an early scene in Susan's hotel room, she was affectionately hands-on with the big cat. But after the leopard lunged at Hepburn's twirling skirt once on set, filmmakers added barriers between man and beast. And they used just about every camera trick in 1938. Special effects like split screens, rear projection, and even a puppet kept the actors from harm. Those with a sharp eye might have even seen light reflecting on the glass divider between Grant and the animal in the bathroom scene. Hepburn wrote in her memoir that she playfully tortured Grant once on set by dropping a stuffed leopard into his dressing room. But while neither Cary Grant nor his character were particularly brave, Huxley inspired one of the most beloved movie heroes of all time. Carlos. Christopher Reeve modeled his portrayal of Clark Kent in four Superman films on Grant's feeble and flustered role. Any more at home like you? Uh, not really, no. Bringing Up Baby opened on February 16, 1938. The studio had high hopes for this big budget comedy, but executives weren't laughing at the box office receipts. The movie flopped, but more than a decade later, it aired on television and found its audience. Viewers and critics rediscovered its screwball charms, and today it's recognized as a masterpiece of American comedy. I'm Danny Epperson, and I will see you next week for WHRO Cinema 15 and another classic movie.